and shake your booties for black girl nerds. Hi, you guys. Thank you for your time. This is some exciting times we are in right now. Oh, thank, thank you for you. having us. Thanks for having us. Uh, the pleasure is all mine. I must ask this because I've enjoyed theater and I've enjoyed films. And I always want to know when you're doing a big ensemble number, Ariana, beginning with you, where do you look when you're doing these big <laughs> ensembles like I Feel Pretty? And in a film, the cameras are everywhere, but in theater, yeah. audience is there. Where do yeah. you look? Where's the spot? Where is the spot? You know, you know what I found so fun about, you know, the transition from, you know, stage to screen. Um, and I feel like you probably feel similarly. This it forces you to immerse yourself in, in the community, in your circumstances, yeah. right? So the answer to your question is you just take in what's around you. 360. It's 360. It's yeah. a 360 experience. It's experience, which is a, a wow, English. <laughs> <laughs> Speak English. Um, but it's a 360 experience, yeah. which allows you to essentially look anywhere and everywhere because the, the lived experience is that you're taking in each person and each moment. And that, I think, is a gift. It forces yeah. you to be really, really present. Um, and it ultimately enhances the joy, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I like the, how you say that. There's so much joy in all of your performances and just being immersed in it with you. David, for you, West Side Story is, is, is historical. It's been a part of just American fabric for so long. Have you ever done this play before? Have you ever sang the songs? Because I think I've even done a turn of it in high school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've never done it. Um, I never attempted to sing it because <laughs> I was kind of, you know, I, I didn't think I had the voice to do that. So, um, I, but I do remember watching it when I was a kid. Um, I saw the Broadway production in 2009 and I just fell in love with the music. I fell in love with the characters um, and I always wondered, you know, hopefully one day I, I will be able to do West Side Story. Um, and, and here I yeah. am now. So it's, it's crazy how the world works. Look at you go. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's a, a marvelous accomplishment. This wonderfully talented cast, wonderfully talented director. It's like the perfect storm. Ariana, I saw your interview the other day where you said you were getting your nails done when uh, yeah. Steven Spielberg called you to tell you, to ask you if you wanted to be his Anita. So after you got off the phone with him, I mean, your nails were still wet. Who did you tell first that it finally it had come? Oh, I didn't. I didn't tell anyone. In fact, because he had asked me not to tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so cause he was like, we're gonna, we need to sit on this for a while for various reasons. And I was like, I started to say, are you kidding? <laughs> Um, but instead I was just like, all right, I can respect that. So I held this knowledge in my body for, I believe, two months. That's hard. That's a lot. It was really <laughs> hard. Um, but I did finally get to tell my mother, which was, um, you know, I found out sometime in October. And then I finally got to tell my mother like a couple of days before the announcement, which was in January. And she was like, you did what? Excuse me. <laughs> Oh my God. Like, and that was Gina DeBose's reaction. <laughs> oh my God. And it was it's very not, exciting. It's not lost on me that you were in the nail shop. Did you go dancing out of there? Oh, honestly, I think I floated. <laughs> I don't know if I could just actually move my body, out. but I was just hovering, <laughs> like walking through the streets of New York, trying to make it home, realizing that nobody knows I'm about to do this crazy, crazy thing. You know, it was, um, yeah, yeah floating. Hmm. Oh, you were, you were it for me. I just I loved what you brought to Anita. You, you were doing oh, it for me, you. man. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. As you also were, David, that first day of filming and you're with Steven Spill, what's the first day of filming like on a big ensemble production like this? Yeah. Um, I remember the first day of filming, I we were shooting part of the Tonight Quintet, which is like almost towards the end of the movie. So <laughs> It was interesting that we were yeah. starting with that, but yeah. huh. I remember there was just so much energy and everyone was just so grateful to be there and so happy. It, it was just incredible. It was incredible. I mean, um, I've never felt that kind of energy in a production before where, you know, everyone is just, everyone knows how fortunate they are to be there and everyone's there to bring it, bring it all, you know, just bring a hundred percent of your soul, your heart, 
um, and, and do the best work that you can do. So it was a beautiful experience to start yeah. off like that. And then that kind of just translated for the rest of the journey. It set the tone. Yeah, exactly. You both were marvelous. The whole the whole film, I was just riveted. Thank you so much for your time. I'm so excited for people to see this because you guys were it for me. Thank you so oh, much. Thank, thank you, so, you much. so much. Appreciate it. Take care. Have a good one. You too. <laughs>